Thank you for joining us for our reflection on a lesson from the Daily Office Lectionary. My name is Mother Elizabeth Papazoglakis, and I serve as Associate Rector at St. George's Episcopal Church in Clifton Park, New York. Today is Thursday in Easter week. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, who in the Paschal Mystery established the new covenant of reconciliation, Grant that all who have been reborn into the fellowship of Christ's body may show forth in their lives what they profess by their faith through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our lesson is from the book of Exodus, the 13th chapter, beginning at the third verse. Moses said to the people, Remember this day on which you came out of Egypt, out of the house of slavery, because the Lord brought you out from there by strength of hand. No leavened bread shall be eaten. Today, in the month of Abib, you are going out. When the Lord brings you into the land of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Amorites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites, which he swore to your ancestors to give you, a land flowing with milk and honey, you shall keep this observance in this month. Seven days you shall eat unleavened bread, and on the seventh day there shall be a festival to the Lord. Unleavened bread shall be eaten for seven days. No leavened bread shall be seen in your possession, and no leaven shall be seen among you in all your territory. You shall tell your child on that day, It is because of what the Lord did for me when I came out of Egypt. It shall serve for you as a sign on your hand and as a reminder on your forehead, so that the teaching of the Lord may be on your lips. For with a strong hand the Lord brought you out of Egypt. You shall keep this ordinance at its proper time from year to year. Here ends the lesson. Our lesson is the instructions to the Hebrews about the festival of unleavened bread. This festival continues to be observed by the Jewish faithful to this day. The festival lasts seven days and occurs in the same month as Passover. The purpose of this festival is to educate children about the Passover, the exodus from Egypt, and their faith. The week is marked by ritual practices such as emptying homes of all leavening agents, leavened baked goods, and only eating unleavened bread such as matzah. Certainly not unique to the Jewish culture, people in all cultures and generations have been intentional about leaving things for their children. These things cover the gamut from items of great monetary value to treasured family heirlooms. The truth of the matter is that when our earthly life is over, all the things that once seemed so important will be left behind. It's highly unlikely you will ever see a U-Haul trailer behind a hearse, except as possibly a hoax or bad joke. The one thing that you will take with you is your faith in Jesus Christ, a faith tradition our Lord tells us to share generously. Beginning in Matthew 28, verse 19, Jesus says, Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to observe everything that I have commanded you. Jesus is clearly telling us that our collective responsibility is to teach others, including our children, maybe especially our children, everything that He has commanded. To share your faith in the good news of Jesus Christ with your children and grandchildren is the ultimate gift of love. If you are not already doing so, consider setting aside some time to share the story and your story so future generations will be able to do similarly for generations to come. Let us pray. We thank you, Heavenly Father that you have delivered us from the dominion of sin and death and brought us into the kingdom of your Son. And we pray that as by his death he has recalled us to life, so by his love he may raise us to eternal joys, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Thank you for joining us. 
Join us every weekday for our reflection. If you live in the Clifton Park area, join us for worship at 4.30 on Saturdays or 8 or 9.30 on Sunday mornings. If you're unable to join us in person, join us virtually through our YouTube channel. Our webpage provides recordings and details about all of our offerings.